You guys are probably like, put down the scissors and end the video here, but I can't. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm pretty bored with my hair, quite frankly. It's just so boring. Recently, I really wanna switch things up without kind of going like full on bang. I did do that and I absolutely loved it. I think I'll do it again, maybe in the fall or winter time because it just, I loved having bangs honestly so much, but I'm always like getting bored with my hair. So I just kind of let it grow out and enjoyed all the phases of my bangs growing out. But I don't know, I just want something to like frame my face. I want something different. I've watched like three videos. So, you know, definitely qualified to do this. I did cut my own bangs last time and I thought they turned out all right. I cut my sister's bangs not too long ago. I think I can do it, um, but I don't even know what I want. I don't know if I want like shorter bangs or like longer bangs. I don't know. So I just thought I'd take you guys along with me for the process because this is not a tutorial, by the way. Don't follow these instructions. I just thought it'd be fun to document in case it one goes very well or two is a fail and then it's like, you know, it's kind of an entertaining video either way. So, oh, and this time I actually have hair cutting scissors. I use like kids, literally like kindergarten scissors last time so at least I have hair cutting scissors I'm leveling up I'm not scared which is kind of concerning I changed my shirt so I didn't get hair all over it every video I watched was kind of different so I'm just gonna kind of do my own thing and hope for the best so first just gonna like brush out my hair okay so I'm gonna do try to get as straight of a middle part as I can I literally can I use the end of my glasses. Okay. These are going to be pretty thin, I think. I just like the thinner, like, wispier look when it comes to bangs. Tie this back. I could literally just, like, kind of start cutting downwards. That might be good. Do I have gray hair? Okay, it's blonde. False alarm. Okay, I'm getting scared now. I really am. I don't know why the nerves just hit me. But this is kind of... Let's envision it, okay? So it's kind of just gonna be like, kind of want it like around here so I can still tuck it behind my ear, you know? So first let's just cut it straight across, I guess. Okay, maybe like here. Okay, now we just have to kind of shape it a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna bring it across my face like this, across the part, and then cut up this way. Oh my god, you can really see my hands are shaking. Okay. Okay! We have some, a gradient, you know? I see the vision. Okay, I'm gonna do the same on the other side now. We have the curtains, now we just need to alter the curtains. Okay, now I'm just gonna kind of blend it a little bit. Trust the process. That's what I'm telling myself, trust the process. good thing or a bad thing i think it looks kind of cute you know like let's put my hair up let's let's test it like see when i have a ponytail now instantly cuter instantly my hair is naturally doing like a weird wave thing that it literally has never done until today so i'm gonna straighten it and just see how it would look straightened and maybe that'll make it a little bit easier to kind of finish up the last little trimmings Okay, yeah, straightening it made it a little better, but I feel like, should they be a little shorter or should I just stop cutting here? You guys are probably like, put down the scissors and end the video here. I can't, I want it to be exactly how I want it. My mom has this like Revlon blow dry brush, so I'm going to try to style my hair 
and see how I like it, but it just feels good to have something different in my hair, just to have like a little bit of movement and shape there. Like, I don't know. I'm just, I'm happy with it so far, but now I'm gonna go and see how it looks styled. I love how I can still tuck it behind my ears. Low maintenance, always. <laughs> but yeah, let's go figure out how to style this. All right, you guys, after using the blow dry brush for literally like 10 minutes, this is how it turned out. I'm pretty happy with it. It's not perfect by any means, but I like how I have these little face framing pieces now, these curtain bangs. I like how I kept them long. Yeah, I just think it looks cute and I'm pretty happy with it. Like I said, please do not follow this tutorial. This is not even a tutorial. Don't follow this video. Um, I didn't know what I was doing and it's not perfect it's probably not what you would get if you go to the hair salon and ask for curtain bangs but i'm happy with it and i think it looks kind of cute i'm gonna insert a clip after this with what it looks like when my hair dries naturally because like i said i'm low maintenance and i kind of just want to shower and throw in some like mousse or gel or whatever and just see how it dries with my kind of natural wavy hair so i washed my hair this morning and i scrunched in a little bit of mousse i used the not your mother's curl talk mousse and this is how my hair air dried honestly i might like the way that this dried better than how it looked blown out with the brush i think it just it kind of works with my natural hair this is just what it looks like with my how my hair naturally dries and i think it kind of works i think it looks cute and i think i could do a lot of cute styles with it like i got this little headband on amazon and if i just like put that right there i think that looks so cute and then this looks a lot better just the way it dried naturally than it did when i blew it out when it comes to like putting my hair up the natural wave that kind of happens just makes it look a little bit better and less choppy that's the good thing about cutting your own hair if you have like wavy or curly hair it's a lot more forgiving because you can kind of make mistakes but because like since my hair is wavy you can't really tell all that much so it definitely dried a lot better and less choppy um with my natural hair than it is when i straightened or blow dried it so when i put my hair in a ponytail kind of like how i used to just casually throw it up i do kind of look like a coconut head <laughs> like it's I don't know I might still need to like trim a few pieces or something or just like let it grow out and look less choppy but like this is how this is a hairstyle I do all the time and I don't know if I'm feeling this look <laughs> maybe if I like tuck it behind my ears still haven't figured that one out but yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video thanks for just I don't know watching whatever the heck <laughs> this was this was kind of impulsive but thank you guys for watching anyway for following me on this little hair journey I will see you guys in the next one bye everyone mm -hmm.